Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. In today's video, we are going to focus in on these coins right here. These are the $1 coin coming to you from Hong Kong. Now, the ones I've got right here are both dated 1978, but we'll also introduce a couple of more recent ones. This one's dated 94, and this one is dated 1998, as well as one older one. This one is dated 1960. So if you're into coin collecting, uh, into foreign coins specifically, maybe you just like uh, the country of Hong Kong, that's why you came across this video. But I think you will find it informative and fun, and uh, maybe it'll interest you more in coin collecting. So let's get into the details of this specific coin right here. Again, it's the $1 coin. Now, all of the $1 coins will have the same value to them, which is $1, 1 HKD, which translates to about uh, 13 cents United States cents. Their metal content is copper and nickel. They've got a weight of 7.1 grams, a diameter of 25.55 millimeters, and a thickness of 1.9 millimeters. For some comparison's sake, let me just uh, compare it to a couple of different coins that you might be more familiar with if you're here in the United States or if you're in Canada. Uh, so here is the uh, $1 Canadian coin. So it's about the same size as the $1 Canadian coin. The main difference being that it has a uh, normal round shape to it. And as far as comparing it to a United States coin, it's about a bit bigger than a United States quarter. So that's um, some perspective as far as the size of the coin goes. It's diameter of 25.5 millimeters. What you're looking at right now is the reverse side of the coin. And I'll flip one of these over. So we have the uh, head side on one side and then the tail side on the other, known in the coin collecting community as the obverse and the reverse of the coin. So on the obverse, we have a crowned bust of Queen Elizabeth II. She is facing the right. So that's a very common image. And then we see in English going around the outside, Queen Elizabeth II, and then the portrait of herself right there. Now, as far as the reverse side, the back side, this side right here, we see Hong Kong in English, and then in Chinese as well, and then $1 in English, and then in Chinese as well. Then that uh, animal right there is a standing crowned lion. He's located above the date right there, and then the value down here at the bottom. As far as the um, edges go, they are milled edge, so they've got a milled edge to them. Now my camera always has trouble adjusting to the edge, so actually that kind of worked out. So this right here, it's got that milled edge to it, just like a uh, United States quarter does. Now as far as the mintages of these coins go, uh, I would consider them to be r pretty high. The mintages in 1978 were 120 million, 104 million were made in 79, and 100 million were made in 1980. So of the three different varieties of $1 coins that we're going to look at today, this has the highest um, mintage to it. So these ones right here will be the most common coins that you can come, ac come across while coin collecting. Let's take a look at the older coin. We'll put it side by side with the uh, newer coin for some perspective. But this coin right here, it's kind of an absolute beast. The size of this is quite astounding. It has a weight of 11.7 grams. So that's a very, very heavy coin, especially given the fact that it's only worth one Hong Kong dollar, which translates to about 13 cents. So it must have taken much more than uh, the face value of the coin to produce this actual coin based on the metal content of it. Now, the design I don't really need to repeat too much about the design because it's the exact same thing the characteristics the characters of it are just uh, slightly bigger now it's got a cool security feature on the edge of the coin so um, it's got a uh, security edge so there's a redded edge going around the outside two outsides and then sandwiched in between it's got this cool little uh, additional details going around the inside of the coin so we've got the edge on the outside and the outside then a, a detail going around the inside of the coin so that adds some security features to the coin um, if you were to try and reproduce that it would be very hard for you to do so i don't think you'd really stand the chance at uh, counterfeiting the edge detail of that coin all right so this is the obverse side of the coin again we see a crown bust of queen elizabeth ii now, as far as the mintage of this coin goes, uh, there are 
two different mints that made them apparently at 1960 or two different mint marks at least. So the first one is the H mint mark. So the uh, H mint mark made 40,000. And then we have the KN mint mark, which made 40,000 as well. And then in 1970, they made 15,000. So uh, much lower mintages for this older $1 Hong Kong coin, um, which is understandable considering it's older and the size of it is just so big that you wouldn't really want to make a lot of these because you'd lose money on every one that you made. All right, so we'll slide that one out and then we'll bring in this one right here for some size comparison. These two right here are the more modern $1 Hong Kong coins. So their value is going to be the same that we were looking at earlier, about a 13 cents United States dollars. Uh, and they are all the same metal content for all three of these coins. They're all copper and nickel. The main difference that we see uh, is the different weight and the different size of the diameter of the coin. What we see on this side, um, we actually got a different uh, design to it. So this is the Hong Kong Orchard flower. The uh, binomial name is the Bahain Blacknia. I'm probably mispronouncing that quite a bit, but it's uh, uh, known as the Hong Kong Orchard Flower. So we see that Hong Kong Orchard Flower. Then on the uh, reverse side, we see the face value of the coin, which is one. Then the year it was made, 1998, and then uh, $1 right here. So we see the numeric value as well as the written value. Unfortunately, I don't have the mintages of these coins, um, but... Uh, definitely worth adding to your collection if you can come across these. And interestingly, I didn't seek out to build this uh, kind of set of Hong Kong $1. They've all just kind of come into my uh, collection at different times. So it's pretty cool to see a Hong Kong dollar dated 1998. We've got one that's dated 1978. And then we've got one that's dated 1960. So some very cool coins. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you are into the Hong Kong dollars, I'm going to try and make some other videos as well. I might make a uh, one about this $10 coin right here. I've also got a $2 coin and a uh, $5 coin. So maybe I'll be able to crank out a video about these uh, larger $1 coins as well. So check that out if that interests you. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.